going to show you in this video how you could enter a probability model in the TI Inspire. So I'm going to create a simple probability model that's in front of us um, where X um, is our random variable and P of X is the probability of that random variable. So we have all possible outcomes and they are adding up to 1, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6. So let's say I wanted to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. We could definitely do this by hand where I would uh, multiply basically the X times its probability and then add that to the second x and its probability and then to the third one and then that would give us our uh, expected value also known as our average so let's go ahead and do that on our calculator i'm going to go ahead and enter two lists i'm going to go to um, control n and then i'm going to add list and spreadsheet. Now I'm going to call my uh, random variable x. You can actually call it whatever you want. And here I'm going to say p of x. So I know that this is going to be its probability. 40 one is 1, 6, 10 is 2, 6, and 0 is 3, 6. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So here it was 40 was 1, 6. Then we had 10, 2, 6. And our third one was 0 and 3, 6. So I'm going to enter 0 and here 3, 6. Okay. Once I have the two lists in my calculator what i'm going to do now is to calculate the expected value in the standard deviation you could either go ahead straight and go to menu here statistics stat calculations this is a one variable statistic so i know we have two lists but we're looking at one random variable and its probability so i'm going to click on one variable statistics going to press OK. It's still one list. Here I'm going to enter what I named it. I named it X and then the frequency, which is our probability list, we're going to say we named that P of X. And then I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now here and where it says first result column, this is where we're going to see the mean and standard deviation in column C. So I'm going to press OK. And scrolling here, I could see that the mean is 10 and the standard deviation, which is our sigma, is 14.14. 4. Now notice here the uh, sample standard deviation doesn't exist because it's not a one-time situation. It's if we were to do um, this random variable many, many, many times, then the standard deviation would be 14.14 and the mean would be 10. Now, if you prefer, you can always add a new page. And instead of um, doing it directly where the lists are, if this, I'd like to have it on a new page because it looks a lot um, neater. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to go to menu, statistics, stat calculations. Make sure you do one variable statistics, and then it is one random variable list, and the list is, again, X. That's what we named it. And the frequency list, this is where we're going to put our probabilities. We called it P of X, and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And here, again, we have our mean is 10, and our standard deviation, which is the Sigma X is 14.14.